This segment will demonstrate how to operate, store, and maintain your new Craftsman 110 pound tow broadcast spreader. Warning Read all safety warnings, instructions, illustrations, and specifications provided with this tool. Failure to follow all instructions listed below may result in fire and or serious injury. Read the towing vehicle's owner's manual and towing vehicle safety rules. Know how to operate your tractor before using the broadcast spreader attachment. Read the chemical label instructions and cautions for handling and applying the chemicals purchased for spreading. Wear eye and hand protection when handling and applying lawn or garden chemicals. Never operate tractor and spreader attachment without wearing substantial footwear. Do not allow anyone to ride or sit on spreader attachment frame. Never allow children to operate the tractor or spreader attachment. Do not allow adults to operate without proper instruction. Always begin the transmission in first, low gear, with the engine at low speed, and gradually increase as conditions permit. The maximum towing speed is 6 miles per hour. When towing the broadcast spreader, do not drive too close to a creek or a ditch. Be alert for holes and other hazards which could cause you to lose control of your broadcast spreader and tractor. Before operating the vehicle on any hill, refer to the safety rules in the vehicle's owner's manual concerning safe operation on slopes. Stay off steep slopes. Follow the maintenance and lubrication instructions as outlined in the manual. We do not recommend the use of any powdered lawn chemicals. Due to the difficulty in obtaining a satisfactory or consistent broadcast pattern, determine the approximate square footage of the area to be covered and estimate the amount of material required. Before filling the hopper, make sure the flow control arm is in the off position and the closure plate is shut. Break up any lumpy fertilizer as you fill the hopper. Set the adjustable stop with the flow control arm still in the off position. Refer to the application chart shown and the instructions on the fertilizer bag to select the proper flow rate setting. The application chart is calculated for light to heavy application at a walking speed of 3 miles per hour or 100 feet in 23 seconds. A variation in speed will require an adjustment of the flow rate to maintain the same coverage. Always start the spreader in motion before operating the closure plate. Always shut the closure plate before turning or stopping the spreader. If fertilizer is accidentally deposited too heavily in a small area, soak the area thoroughly with a garden hose or sprinkler to prevent burning of the lawn. To ensure uniform coverage, make each pass so that the broadcast pattern slightly overlaps the pattern from the previous pass. The approximate broadcast widths for different materials are shown in the application chart on the screen. When broadcasting weed control fertilizers, make sure the broadcast pattern does not hit evergreen trees, flowers, or shrubs. Heavy moisture conditions may require a cover to the hopper to keep contents dry. The vinyl hopper cover acts as a wind and moisture shield, but should not be used as a rain cover. This unit will cover a 4 to 8 foot wide area depending on the material used and the towing speed. To avoid misses or striping, make each pass about 5 feet from the previous one so some overlapping of spread pattern does occur. For easiest application, spread across the shortest edges of the lawn first, making two header strips for a turning area, and then spreading between the header strips. If the lawn is odd shaped, spread a border around the edges and then spread between the border. Keep the wheels approximately 4 feet from any area you do not wish to spread. Be careful when using spreader around ornamental plants because weed control chemicals can damage these plants. Before each use, make a thorough visual check of the spreader for any loose bolts and nuts which may have been loosened. Retighten any loose bolts and nuts. Check for worn or damaged parts before each use. Repair or replace parts if necessary. Make sure the tires are adequately inflated before each use. Do not inflate beyond the maximum pressure. Overinflated tires can explode, causing serious injury. To avoid injury, never inflate tires beyond the maximum pressure printed on the sidewall of the tire. Always use a hand pump to safely inflate tires. Oil the right-hand idler wheel bearing at least once a year or more if needed. Lightly apply automotive grease as needed to the sprocket and gear. Oil nylon bushings on vertical sprocket shaft and on the axle at least once a year or more often as needed. Empty the spreader after each use, storing leftover material in its original bag. Rinse the inside of the hopper and the exterior of the spreader and dry off before storing. Store in a clean, dry area. Make sure to read the manual and other valuable safety maintenance and storage instructions.